Tom put his gun back in the case and unloaded it. Uh-oh, and Jay is a little nervous. He's never been through the game check experience. Uh-oh, here comes Mr. Game Warden. He looks like a crossing guard. He's going to make us stop. Bye, Mr. Game Warden. Oh, they're pulling the campers over. Oh, they're checking those poor little boys over there for the deer. I can't believe that guy waved us through. I really can't. Shoot any does there, bud? He's got a red nut. I took it off right before we got there. <laughs> what now? I said I guarantee if I had this on, it would have been pulled over. With the there he is, Bullwinkle, Mr. Know-It-All himself. <laughs> I see those horns. Hey, load up, right guys. Load up. So we know we can road hunt now. Huh? Let's tell Richard we shot two hands right before we got to that game check and got pulled over. Hey, we'll tell them that we you know something. So huh? That hand that we, that we, Yeah, but what we need to do you and I is, is they were going right back. We to didn't know if Doc didn't go around. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's the final day here for Jay and Adam. We're just getting ready to go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jay's getting ready to put that nose to the ground. Hey, Lou. <laughs> All right. Good morning, Red. Good morning, Adam. Where's Stu? I think he's still on the telephone. Oh, he is? Okay. We'll let him do his thing on the phone. No, he's not. Stu may be in his office back there, but we won't bother Stu. Let's go down. Say good morning to all our friends. We're just Jay, that girl that was looking for Jay came and pounded on the door at seven o'clock in the morning. <laughs> no, I know. No, I didn't. Well, tell him what you said, Adam. No, I'm not going to say what I said. I'll turn that off. The click of the high heels running across the parking lot. Yeah, over the days, huh? So this is where the pizza party was last night. This is where, yes, and the pizza's all in the... In the <laughs> Where's the pizza? The six in the pizza? Truck. In the truck. Maybe we could hey. use those pizzas for skeet or something like yeah. that if we get run out of white pigeons. It's lunch today, huh? For lunch. You could take some home with you. On the I'll have to pull you out of that. Uh... Let's hold them up. Are we getting ready to roll? We're yeah. getting ready to roll. Right Whatever you live in, I better go get my gun. Go we'll get your gun. Be we'll right back. All right. All right, take care. Which, uh, is Harlan ready to go? Hey, Harold. Uh, what's going on over here? What? Hey, what happened? Bud, what happened to your tailgate, man? God, well, looks like it's thread. Well, this thing was a beautiful order until, let's see, Stu Haynes, and then who's the fat kid of his? The fridge, you yeah, mean Jay? Yeah, that guy, that, that fat one. Look at this. They busted both cables. <laughs> These things will take an elephant. They break both of them. Not only did they do that, then they dent, they dent my Oh, tail. my God, it's thrashed. So, long, so since Jay's a prominent attorney down in San Diego, You're gonna I'll sue him? send him the bill. All right, send him the bill. He'll pay for it. He doesn't mind. I told him I'll sit on his uh, whale tail. Sit on that whale tail. Yeah. Beautiful Washington alfalfa. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we just walked yeah. to this field for the greater ringneck pheasant. However, none were to be found. <laughs> the ringneck eluded us once again. That's right. You want to do the tuchu while we're here? The net we results of a hinge. Huh? Ah. <laughs> He'll take the heat for that. <laughs> Uh-oh. Let's check out some golden feet over there. Red, you got frostbite? Yeah, I do. I didn't bring waterproof boots. These uh, designer boots don't make it in the outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Stu will get you a pair of danners for the next trip. Um, is that what we're drive gonna around there then? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, drive around. Okay. Drive around. Going, the tushy? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Lil. Ladies and gentlemen, we're witnessing a miracle here. Red is putting on <laughs> Jay's ugly, gross, stinky, athletic foot socks. Take it like that. 
It's really bad. Look at that gross, disgusting sock. Red, but why are you dry. putting that? It's dry, Adam. Are your feet cold? My feet are and are you numb. said you were so desperate that you would They're put numb. on anything. That's even right. Jay's socks. Even Jay's socks. <laughs> you know there's consequences of that, but you're willing to risk that. <laughs> I am. Okay. Anything to save frostbite. No, I'm too cold. Oh, okay. <laughs> too cold. Jay, pull those birds out. Yeah. Breaks, they protect pull them out. Let's see them. So if you get hit that was a good eye, little hunt, though. The first thing is going to take it. Have a break. We have time to go over there? Let's look at the yeah, socks. Here. I need a little more. What do you want? Better. No, I'll take it. All right, good hunting, Stu. Wounded, but I'm all right. Yeah, you. Let me see. I lost it. Wounded, Stu. Just as I walked in there, the boom, a branch right in the eye. You lost your contacts? Yeah, he's got more back in the room. I got a mono vision. Now I can still see. All right. Oh. Nice birds. Beautiful birds, there, Jay. This is Bart. Rolling. Anyway, uh, this bird right here, hey, um, jumped up, scared Jay and I to death, shot it, fell down, and uh, I tracked it all the way and I couldn't find it. It was in this big, huge bush. Don't be shy, Adam. Just go and then down. the man came, Lou. Where is Lou? And he found the, he found the bird and saved the day. Right okay. All right, Lou. And then came Lou. And then came Lou. And Lou fetched the bird. All right, look at him fetch the bird. Anyway, if it wasn't for Lou, we wouldn't have got this bird because he tracked it. Good job, Lou. Okay, Lou. <laughs> Wait, Adam well. is still going. <laughs> punch it, punch it again. Well, all good, great trips have to come to an end someday, and we're. I know. We're at the. Lovely Walla Walla <laughs> Airport. And we're such a lovely group. Look what a lovely. Look at this thriving uh, Lewis. Yeah. Lewis. Look at this thriving airport. They got 747s in here, B1 bombers. <laughs> few F-16s. F-16s have yeah. been landed. Uh, and you got Lewis, the jet set dog. Jeff. Right, the jet set dog. <laughs> Flies all over the world. There's, so there, there's the famous stealth bomber <laughs> over in the. Oh, yeah, that hangar. stealth bomber in that hangar that's about 10 <laughs> foot by 10 foot and up for a Cessna 152 or a crop duster. Harold, do we have any parting shots of. Well. Any memories or anything that you want to. The pheasants were uh, a little smarter this year than last year. Yeah. So. I don't know. Took our damage on the hens, though. <laughs> <laughs> Just by, put that on <laughs> by mistake. <laughs> Always by mistake. Always by mistake. Harlan, any Jay, parting Jay shots that you want to send to the people of America? Any parting shots? Yeah. Well, it was a pleasure to have both of you dudes over here. <laughs> Even though one of them didn't listen. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it breaks my tailgate. Yeah, no, yeah, he broke. Yeah, that's right. Uh, the plane's on time. I just checked. Oh, okay. Hey, Louis, get you a collar. All right. Color. I like this color. Yes, I like it. So what do I do in Seattle for three hours, Harold? This is tough. <laughs> You have to stay there three hours? Yeah, three hours. Oh, well, I say he goes to the, the kingdom and, and uh, catches some fish in the kingdom. Hey, that's right. <laughs> Jay, do, that so, do some steelheading in, steel head head in the kingdom. Yeah. I don't see well, you go buy a magazine. Okay. <laughs> you can, you can buy Do some hours. reading. Louie, let me say goodbye to my grandson. You're such a good boy. Jay, is this Such a good boy. That's the one he came in. Well, yep. He came in on that plane. But it's stuck his plane going out. Well, it's not. I just checked with the injury. 150. This is supposed to show you pheasant hunters can party anywhere. They can party at the airport. Two, <laughs> three. Bye bye. Okay. bye See bye. you next year, Walla Walla. See you next year. Next October. All right. Yo. I couldn't pass this up.
I'll, I'll send you a ticket. Sounds kind of odd, huh? <laughs> I'll be there too if you want me to be there. Oh, uh, Jeffrey? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure free. I am. <laughs> In San Diego. Uh -huh. If you want to go, you're more than welcome. All three of us. Yeah? It's the Oregon alumni. <laughs> so, Brucey, how do you feel today? I feel a lot better now that Adam brought me home. I really appreciate that. Um, <laughs> did you see anything unusual this morning when you went into Bruce's room when you saw him there sleeping, Mom? Unusual, like what? Like, like an inanimate object on his neck? On his neck? I mean, his neck? I can see him on the cheek. What was it, Mom? It was Fluffy Bear. Was it Fluffy Bear or was it Fuzzy Bear? Fuzzy Bear. Uh-oh. Sanctions. It was Fuzzy Bear, but he looked fluffy. It was Fuzzy Bear, but he looked fluffy. Was he hugging Bruce? Oh, yes. Yes, that's his mission in life. Yeah. His mission in life. He's got an unstable neck. Unstable neck. Unstable. Unstable. Okay, that's tip for cat. All right, we're going to go for a run. We won't mention what was on the neighbor's lawn. Okay. You can film me and I'll describe oh. what happened last night. I don't know how to do this. Oh, did you see for God already? No, I didn't. I was asking this morning. Do I press anything? No, it's already pressed. Um, it was... This morning, or last night, I had Bruce got out of the car, got him out of the car, and he goes, I think I'm going to go to sleep right here, Shmoo. <laughs> and he laid down in the driveway. And I go, I got your duffel bag. He goes, give me that. And he just put it down like a pillow, and he just laid himself out. He goes, give me ten minutes here. I'll go to sleep. <laughs> oh, God. So anyway, I went in and got everything prepared in the house, lights What on. time was this, by the way? I don't way? even want to. I don't even want to think about what time it was. I don't think it was that late. Though. It wasn't that late. Anyway, or so? I go out and Bruce is just passed out. I go and I pull his boots off, both his boots off, and I pick him up. I go, Bruce, we're going to bed. He goes, Oh, man, I don't feel good. <laughs> <laughs> he goes over to Dick Frasher's yard over there and just goes, Rah! <laughs> you mean four twelve is the dirty way? Yeah, four twelve is the dirty way. Blue chunks all over everywhere. Oh, no. he goes, oh, so then I carried him into the house, put him in there, and he was like bumping into the doors, bumping into everything. <laughs> God, and he goes, and he, you should have seen him try to get out his contacts, like oh sticking his whole God. hand like a claw. <laughs> Pull his contacts, put him in his case, and then finally we got him to bed. And he, and he, but the thing was, before he could get to bed, he had to have his teddy bear, and he took his teddy bear out, and he hugged it, and oh. he kissed it, and took it to bed. Well, look, he wasn't so bad now, if he could take his contacts out. That's right, you weren't that bad. You mm -hmm. pulled him out, though. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> You are bad, Bruce. <laughs> it must have been that, that last beer I had. That, that, last, last, beer. that last beer. At Roxanne's. Yeah, when he was at Roxanne, he, he walked in there. First of all, he, he, out in the parking lot, he picked up this one gal, just picked her up over his shoulder like a sack of potatoes and started walking around with her. She went, eh, and she, she ran away. Then, then she, about a minute later, she came back and acted like she was looking around and she knew she Bruce was with her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Bruce attacked her again and she loved it. Was she alone or was she with her? I don't know why I picked her up, but why my back feels bad. Oh, God. If you only knew who she was, you could sue her for back problems. And then Bruce was walking in there, <laughs> was walking through the crowd, bumping into people like this, and they'd turn around and like, you know, they'd be pissed off, and then they'd look up at Bruce and they'd go, Okay. Hi. <laughs> yeah. And keep on walking. I got a battery flashing. Okay. I'll turn it off. They <laughs> carry, they only carry beef in the car, store. but they carry something else oh. there. They'll check yeah. the American, American Express. Express. American They're Express. They're la vida, you know, American yeah. Express. Okay. Yeah, that's American Express. 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 American and may, and they have an account, but I don't want it to mix with my Israeli business. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
This is one thing and the other. So I said, no, I don't want the mage credit. What am I going to do with a mage credit card? No, when am I going to use it? Tell them when they open up a store in Tel Aviv. Oh, you'll be yeah. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, pinch now? your nets, don't pinch me. What did I say? What? She, she said naughty, you know, she always says naughty things. Oh, did Adam what? and Eve and Kiss Me Quick went down to the river to bathe. Adam and Eve fell in and put Eve in the sea. <laughs> yeah, nobody knows. <laughs> I didn't answer that question. You know, right, I understand. Uh -huh. I said, Adam and Eve and oh, was it? Kiss Me Quick <laughs> went down to the river to bathe. Adam and Eve fell in, and who do you think was saved? Kiss, Kiss me quick. Me quick. <laughs> <laughs> you changed you your story. That was it. That was it. It was pinch me quick. Oh, you no, know. No, I changed it for the girls. Oh. <laughs> of course. He just was chumminess at first. Yeah. And then we I had you girls um, locked up. Now, that. Adam, can I introduce a few people? Yes, you may. Okay. I would like to introduce our... Wonderful guests from Israel, the Barbanel. We have Inez Barbanel and Odetta Barbanel. The famous Barbanels from Tel Aviv, Israel. <laughs> Was they famous? Very on the famous. outskirts. On the television. outskirts. They're related to the Barbanels in Vegas. And they're related to the. Yeah, because because all the Barbanels are related to each other. That's right. That's what the lady right. told me. That's the There's lady one thing us. different about this Barbanel than anyone Barbanels. because he flew 64 years. With not yes. 64, 46. 46. I mean, yes. You see what the Bulgarian wine is doing? <laughs> he, only, he only flew 46 years for LL. No, 34 no. for LL. Wow. And, and four and a half for the Air Force. Yes. All together, 46. And he was All a together. bomber in the Air Force. And no. oh, Dad, tell them how you were a bomber in the Air Force. Oh, a bombardier. A bombardier. I want to hear that. Part. Because that is a very that unique is story. Is that right? Yeah. What part? I was a bombardier and I was a bombardier. Okay, I started dive, as a dive bomber and then I became a, a regular bomber. Well, tell them how you threw the bombs. Ah, at the mean? time we used to throw bombs by hand. Yes. Is that right? Out of the plane? Out of yeah. the plane yeah. with their hands. Small hand. airplanes, yes. you know, mostly drop civil down. airplanes. Yeah. And we used to drop uh, bombs with uh, with our hands. 25 kilo bombs, and even 50 kilo bombs. That's heavy. We Very had what dumb. we called bomb chuckers. We used to call them, not bombardiers, but bomb chuckers. Uh, and you were a they chucker. used to sit next to us, you I'll know, in a, in a two-seater or three-seater single-engine airplane, you know, with a 150 horsepower engine, that's all. Oh, okay. And we were sitting here, and he, he used to sit on the right-hand side with two 25-kilo bombs on his lap, oh <laughs> with two pins to each bomb, oh, you yeah. know. And we used to approach the target. I used to tell him, get ready, you know, get set. Get set. Uh -huh. And he used to pull the, the first pin, you know. Ooh. And then when I, when I thought, we didn't have any bomb sites or anything, you know, I was looking like this. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he used to hold the bomb outside, you know, on the, on the one pin that was left. You know? He used to hold it outside, and I used to say, drop it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It was really ridiculous. Oh, I'm yeah. you. Today, today oh, I'm, I'm really laughing when, yeah. when I remember it. That oh, at that time, you did. That was yeah. wonderful. That's amazing, especially when you know about the, the Israeli Air Force oh, today and what they can do. Right, exactly. Yeah, that's how sophisticated it started. Was. Yeah. Yeah. Jackie, did, did you know that? He was the first one hijacked. Yes. He, yes, he I was did. the. And, tell and us about that. The first yeah. Israeli and the last Israeli, Israeli to be hijacked. <laughs> because because the second happened? hijacking did, didn't succeed. Well, they tried it. Tell they tried, but they did your tennis improve on the first hijacking? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to mine, you? Mine improved. Uh -huh. Did, 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 uh, did they, 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 you told us before that they took you out and let you play tennis every day, so yes. you came in After, and had yeah, it's interesting, a great. You know. uh, you know, you shouldn't yeah. underestimate the Arabs. The Arabs are not that stupid, you know, and we were there for 40 days and nights. After 15 days, they transferred us. The first 15 days, we were in a sort of 
barracks, you know, an army barracks, uh, an army camp, an army base, with an army unit guarding us. And after 15 days, all of a sudden, out of the blue, they said, okay, you're moving. And I got very worried because I thought that sure. things were going oh. to get worse, yeah. you know. So I went and spoke to the commanding officer. Commanding officer there, we were very lucky. Commanding officer was a major who graduated from Saint-Cyr Military Academy in France. That's the French Military Academy. Oh, yeah. And he was a real officer and gentleman. And I went to talk to him and I said, where are you taking us? You know, and he said, don't worry, you know, it's, got, it's a nice place. He said, who's going to be, who's going to guard us there? He said, I'm going over there as well. With my unit, we'll continue to be in charge of you. So I, I knew that everything was okay. They took us over to a villa hmm. in the mountains because Algiers, the, the capital city of Algiers, is like Haifa. You know, with a mountain behind it, like the Carmel Mountain. Yes. Mm -hmm. City of Algiers has a mountain just behind it. Looks exactly like Haifa, with the harbor down, yes. down below mm -hmm. and the mountain. And they took us into the mountain, into a, a suburb, which had all the embassies. The uh, all the uh, embassies had their living quarters there. All the ambassadors lived in this in this neighborhood. Mm. And as we were driving with the bus, you know, I saw. Italian embassy, the Swiss embassy, the Dutch embassy, they all, all the ambassadors and consuls had their houses there. And, and we were taken to a villa which was right next to the Japanese embassy. Hmm. Now, we found out later on that they kept the former premier, Ben Bella, they kept him in this villa as, as, a, as a prisoner uh, because they had a revolution there. The, the first, after when they became independent from the French, they had a government and the first premier was called Ben Bella. And then they had a revolution and they ousted him and they, they put him in this villa. And he was there for about two years and he died, I think, of a stroke or something. So they took us to this villa, which was far nicer than the barracks in which we were before. And we spent ten days there. Now, why I, I was saying that they are not so stupid, they had intelligence that the Israelis planned a big, release operation for us. And I didn't know that until I got back to Israel and was debriefed. And when I was debriefed, one of the things which the commander-in-chief of the Israeli Air Force told me, he told me about the operation. They had all set and ready. You know, and this was years before Entebbe. We didn't have the airplanes we had during Entebbe and we sure. didn't have the Navy we had then. But they had a very good operation plan to release us. It's good that they didn't have to, because I told him that in my estimate, if they would have mounted this operation, about two or three of us would have been killed during the operation, and another five or seven would have been badly wounded, etc., etc. Anyhow, they kept us in the village. They, they moved us, you see, so that uh, whoever, whoever was spying on us, and the things I saw when I came back to Israel were really interesting, you, you know, because we had people that took pictures, you know, of the play of the barracks where we were interned, you know. Right. We had pictures of the whole place, you know, how it looked, the walls, how high they were, everything. Mm. So, and the Algerians knew about it, so they removed us for 10 days. And 10 days later, they brought us back again. Uh, they, they brought us back again for the last 15 days because meanwhile, negotiations started between Israel and the air and the PLO through the intermediary through the good offices of the Italians. We were hijacked in Italian um, territorial skies, so just abeam Naples, and the Italians were really mad, you know, because the hijacking was yeah, carried yeah. out in, in territorial yeah, skies. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so they they tried all the time to release us, and they were finally the ones that uh, the go between yeah. that helped, and uh, they got us out. We're now up at beautiful Caliani, California. And you know what today is. Today is that wonderful day that is 38 years ago, Milton and Diane were married. We're now out at the ranch. And let's go inside and see the honeymooners and have a little talk with them on this beautiful blue sky day. Outside right now. I can get 
Hi, Diane. <laughs> Hi, Mom. <laughs> what a beautiful day it is today. Yes. What happened? This is the question, the Jeopardy, final Jeopardy question. What happened 38 years ago this day? Hill. We were having brunch at the Flamingo Inn after celebration. That's right. Lamb celebration. chops. Lamb chops with champagne. And my father had a brunch. Yes. With his maid blue suit. And was he ten? And Oscar, but Oscar had on a powder blue suit with black shoes. Oh, and that was more interesting. <laughs> they should have traded. Hmm. And uh, Milton and Diane tied the knot. And I didn't cry. I sobbed. I Holy could not help wedding. it. I just, I that just saw. Nightmare. I was sticking my yeah, fist into my mouth. So and I have, so I have a picture of her crying. Oh, <laughs> oh God! No. There, th this is their anniversary. Yeah. I couldn't help it. It was so beautiful yeah, that I just sobbed. Thing. Is that a true story, Milton? That's true. <laughs> no, I sobbed about that. Everything was all changed yeah, around. Say, what do you want to eat on the side of bread and cheese? That's it. Want to take some oysters or something? Yeah, that's all you need. Just well, an we apple. We don't need anything. Let me look for the. Are we on the record now, or off? We're on the record. Okay, I want to get off the record. Testify. Okay. So I, I don't. What? How do you know the red? Well, the red light's on. So that's the on. record. Now, okay. Now, what are we going to do today, Milton? What are we going to do? We're going to go we're up going and. We're going to take a hiatus over there to uh, fungi. We're going to show you a whole bunch of fish, oh. trout, brookies. In that and creek. Then, <laughs> and then we're going to get a big barbecue lunch, and then we're going to come back down through Bina, see the new purchase, and uh, see that we're doing a lot of improving down there, water pipes and uh -huh. different things. And then we'll come on down through the old road and come back up here. Sounds fun. Oh, you're good to see Bina. You've not seen her. Not from this side. You know, I was going to say that... Uh, that wedding was a fun wedding. Mm -hmm. it Everyone was, nice. was there. Everybody that was there. Noreen was there. there. Yeah. And did you cry, Mom? Uh, and Florence, um, Florence, Florence forced Diane to let her be the best maid. I, she didn't force me. I just. She just was there all of a sudden. When I she went was. to get married, <laughs> there she was. It was a package deal. Honor, <laughs> honor it was standing next to me was Florence, and the dear soul that sat next to Milton was saying. Oh, no. That was Milton's best man with Sam? Yes, yes. Is that true, Milton? Yeah. Well, you didn't tell me was Sam's best man. He's the best man around. He went on the right. Yeah. No, party and I want to get that on the record. What now? I know that didn't want to do something. He was the ring bearer. And he didn't want to wear the shoes or the short pants or something. He didn't want to wear the shoes. He was the ring bearer. And he didn't want to wear the shoes or the short pants or something. I know. What had happened is I bought him, he had a little black velvet suit with short pants. And I had bought him black shoes to match it. But prior to going down there, I'd taken him to the shoe shine place. With his brown shoes, I got him a shine. Well, he saw he had a shine on those brown shoes, and there's no way we could get them off. So when he went down the aisle, who was the ring bearer at Sam's wedding, when he went down the aisle, he went down the aisle with the brown shoes and the black suit, which by then, who cared? But prior to that, he had asked me, one day, what does a lion say? And I said, you know, whatever a lion says. And what does a bear say? And I said, whatever a bear says. And what a few other animals. And so he went down.